to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need behind. What is happening, y'all? Welcome back. We can see uh, events are clearly underway in Lost Wing. Just having knocked out that one side quest, but still no mark here for me to actually continue. So I guess we can't uh, can't proceed quite yet. Either way, let's head on up. I think I just go straight up here and then make my way over to Logbert's Pass. Yes. Swing. Yeah. God, the music here is so moody right now. What do you think our, uh, our resident thing is? Are we going to have some kind of fallen monster? going to have a lich? safe oh there you are Sid um thanks so much for coming why was she cowering the, uh ruins are just over there as is the creature I told you about Adam of course yeah she's just cowering because she knows there's some shit over here she doesn't want to mess with See a chest over to my left. Home? Oh, Aramon. This must be our unwanted visitor. Time to go. leveling the main story content just a little bit with all these hunts. The things I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. <laughs> you shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way. And she's super exasperated. Six hundred. I'm trying to remember what I needed for my next uh, next upgrade. It was like six six forty. Sounds about right. And right when I was approaching that thing. Saw a chest over here. Where did that chest go?
same oh, looks like I do have an F1. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back. There's plate. What do we get for this? Mr. Meteorite? And the next one I get high clerics. There you are. All done? 715. That'll be a bit from now. Ooh, hang on a second. Oh, did you no, never mind. I think it was just the, the little bobble on his head. Yep. That's crazy. I'm this far. I haven't even looked at trophies once. I need to like I mean, I've just been getting them, but this is, is probably gonna be a platinum experience for me. Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right. The shield in. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop, but those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shield in. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they'd both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Hippocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it? Right away. Girl doesn't do anything for herself. Let me run by the uh, smith, too. Maybe I got. Um, hoping maybe. Those hunts got me something new. I went up to give some greens to the chocolate. Clive. So will it be? Silken Sash plus two. Probably not worth it. I mean, one health and I lose two defense. Same with the diamond armlets. I guess it's just supposed to give you something that's comparable. Diamond sword on the other hand now. White worm bone. That. Can't even craft that, can we? There it is. White worm bone. That is. I haven't found a white worm bone, but and what can I do for you? Oh, I can't buy it either. Son of a bitch. Come again. Oh don't. <laughs> I'm not much bothered either way. Back are you? What's that for you, dear? So I need white worm bone. And then another white worm bone. And that's it. It's pretty significant. And? Oh. Hopefully, this next quest gets me that. Thanks to see it. Hippocrates, do you have a moment? For you, Clive? Always. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? Hmm. <laughs> Shielding for a mithril engine. Whatever will that girl think of next? What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight. 
while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelus complains that without a constant supply of... <sighs> pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the Dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragonfire. So if we could recreate it... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection it requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Hippocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. Yeah, this sounds like I might be coming into contact with this white worm that I'm looking for. So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game. Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands, Clive. Well, I mean, the, the obvious choice is Jill, but I don't know, can... Can the other one even fight? She's a doctor. So, Clive, who will accompany you? Let's bring Tarja along, why not? All right. So, what are we fetching? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. Garlic? Conch shells? Are you sure this is the right list? Looks like the ingredients for someone's supper. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Well, isn't that convenient? I was hoping to be able to make a trip over that way sometime soon. Need to speak to an old acquaintance. I'll meet you there. All right. Stay safe. Not even traveling together. Damn. See you later, Clive. Good luck with your research. Man, I'll be honest. She seemed... She mad? She seemed kind of angry that I'm leaving her. Just a... See you later. Sorry. Now, where's Taya? Keep them pilchers nice and chill. Need to stock up on refuse. There you are, Taya. Ah, and there you are. We shouldn't have any problems finding what we need in a place like this. But if time is of the essence, perhaps we should split up. Take a few items each. All right. What should I look for? Let's see now. 
Why don't you take the garlic and the pepio nuts? Meet me by the gate when you've got them. Oh, would have been kind of silly to bring Jill along on this, though. To be honest, the other person, uh, Tario, is probably better for research. I just figured mix it up. What can I interest you in today? I trust it's all here. How the hell is anyone supposed to... Oi, don't touch anything. Go on. Take it. That should do it. Hopefully Ty is finished too. Well, did you find everything? I did. Here. Garlic and pepio nuts. Job done. We should get this back to Tomes then. He'll be waiting. But we're not in too much of a rush, are we? Quick chat. Do you know, I think this is the very first time we've been out on an errand together. <laughs> I think you might be right. In all the years since you and that scowl of yours first appeared, you haven't invited me out once. For shame. Well, it seemed long overdue. And you did say you had some shopping to do. I was hoping to restock my supplies of herbs and liniment, yes. You and Jill alone burned through them like wildfire. No luck, though. My usual supplier's not here, and I refuse to pay the prices these gougers charge. I'll ask Kara when we get back. What is it? Oh, just memories. I came here with Sid once, shopping for supplies, just like today. And just like today, I came away empty-handed. Sid even said he'd speak to Karen for me when we got back. Has it really been five years? I remember it as if it was yesterday. Hold on. Does that mean it's been five years since we met? Feels a lot longer. It does. In a good way, of course. Thank you, Tyre. For what? For everything. I just want you to know that all you've done for us... Or you still do. It's appreciated. Do you think I'd stick around if I thought it wasn't? But in the spirit of sharing and caring... ...you're appreciated too. By all of us. Well, I think we've tarried long enough. I ought to get these ingredients back to Tome so he can make up this concoction of his. I'll meet you back at the hideaway, all right? All right. And thanks again. I heard you the first time. Like, I know we do it instantly, but I feel like that journey would take, like, days. I wonder how Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya 
how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Oh, and Clive. It was good to talk. We should do it again sometime. It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young Mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. Nice chunk of uh, ability points well, there. I better go and give Mid the good news then. Quite unfortunate though that there were no Drakes. All the mention of you know using it to protect against Drakes, I figured we were. I don't know. In my head, I was like, we're going to where Drakes are. This way too? No, it doesn't. Okay. That was worth a shot. Editors started reading books that don't have anything. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mid. But you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it. In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat, a coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then, better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the Black Hammer! When I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo dars. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way! Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is gonna require some precision wallabin. <laughs> Finished. Thank fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Oh, didn't I tell you? 
The Enterprise has four Mithril engines, and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean... <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Oh god. About to say. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? Another thing, where are you going to get more fallen plating that just like happens to be exactly what you need? What's the matter? Nothing. Just daydreaming. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst, and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail a border by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> Don't you always? All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans. I'm trusting in yours. Airship Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were going to visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. New quest is available nearby. Side quest there. Other side quest there. Oh, okay, there's way more than I thought. There are four side quests here. Mid told me she was building a ship. You don't have an icon. Let me talk to you just to... Fancy a look at the list, do you? Yeah. I'm sure there's no other Good hidden look. side quests. Seen enough? Still though, four side quests? What the hell? I only see two. Ah, uh, you know, let's... <laughs> Damn. I was like, wait, four? What? And this one is obviously something that's like really worth doing because it has that icon. So, um, let's let's wrap things up here. I think because we're gonna go talk to all these people, that's gonna gobble up a bunch of time anyway. Uh, so we'll close things out here. Next episode, apparently got a bunch of side quests, so we're gonna knock those out, and then from there we will go and visit Sid's grave. So catch y'all then.